Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, here we successfully able to display all that our portfolio data. Right now, it is images is visible, name is visible, title is also successfully visible. Right? Now, I want to do when you click as a case study, then that will be written direct to the details page. If you go to our theme, into the theme for the portfolio details, you can see that is a portfolio details.html page. Now, I want to do, I want to load that type of on the page. Okay? So, now let's do that work. For doing this, uh, we have to do here. We have to put one of the URL, and that means one of the route we have to add. Mm, you can see there is a portfolio HTML. So now I want to do and to change it. I make one of the route that I want to use on the route name, and I just name that route as a portfolio. Okay, I name it as a portfolio, portfolio, and then the details, portfolio details, and also here we have to do we have to pass our ID right i have already get all the data i have already get all the data now i have already into this for each loop into this for each loop if you want to pass that id the same procedure actually there is an item with this item i want to pass that our database field name as id now a specific one id data i want to pass it from here now we have to create it and there is a portfolio details i copy it now in our better after that i copy it and I paste it so that will be which one that will be as a portfolio details and also they have one of the ID now I want to update as a portfolio details I make it as a portfolio okay I make it as a portfolio and then the details and then that should be one of the ID that will be one of the get method I want to create one of the new method as a portfolio details okay so now I want to do and to remove it so that will be as a portfolio and then details details now portfolio details method i want to create in our portfolio controller now go to our portfolio controller here after this after this i want to do i want to create another new method that will be the public function and our method will be the portfolio details and here we have to do have to pass our requested id right because here i have already passed one of the id so now that should be one of the requested id so that will be just like our edit page actually if you go to our edit page that means i have already created one of the edit you can see that this will be get that our find or fail our id uh, right now i want to better copy it okay i copy it and now i want to do i want to paste it so that will be i take one of the variable as a portfolio with our portfolio i want to use that our find or fail method with this it will be get that our requested id when it will be get it it will be take it in our variable as a portfolio and then return view now in our font in i want to create another page okay so i name it as a font in font in in our font in folder i want to create another page as a portfolio and that will be as a portfolio underscore details whatever the name actually you choose right now i name it as a portfolio details here i get a specific id data i pass it in our with the compact method in our portfolio details space now let's create our page i have already created our font in folder in our view that is our font in you can see into the font in area now i want to create on the new page i click as a new page rather than you can also create another folder which is totally fine now click as a save as i name it as a portfolio details dot blade dot php okay i simply save it so right now everything will be same like from to the about page i want to do to take our extended okay and I take that extended and that will be as and section so i make it as a section that will be the and okay and section and here only our main part will be needed right so i want to do i want to go to our page our theme page as a portfolio details html if you go to our font in theme and that is a portfolio details right now i simply open with the sublink text editor and now we don't need anything because i have already loaded our master and main master right and now only our main part will be needed you can see that is actually our main part so now i want to do to minimize it so main part i simply copy it from our portfolio details and now in our portfolio details blade here and to paste it right now we don't need this i close it perfect perfect so now click the save all i want to visible all the data okay i want to visible all the data they have some of the images mm, there have some of the text okay the, here you can see they have some of the text now i want to do to take on the p tag only so that will be the p tag i simply remove everything okay simply remove everything now first of all that is our images 
I want to visible that image so if you want to visible it you know here I have already passed it with the portfolio so now with this we can actually display it now I want to remove it and also here sorry I want to remove it I remove it and then that will be the asset the same process we have now we have to again add it that will be our dollar sign first of all that will be the asset and in this asset I want to display with our portfolio I want to access our field name for the images or field name if you go to our database our field name as a portfolio image right now that should be as a portfolio image will be visible which is totally fine okay which is totally fine and then I want to visible our name so I copy it so that will be our title okay I name it and that will be our blade syntax I name it as a portfolio with this portfolio I want to display and to display like as a portfolio title you can also display the name which is totally fine I name it as a portfolio title okay that will be display portfolio title great okay great it will be up, up update and then there have also another image okay I want to do and to first of all update this that is our p tag what exactly the p tag so right now that is actually a p tag right I only want to do to take one p tag I want to remove this dev I remove this dev because here actually they have some of the images right? right now we don't need these images okay I remove it and also I want to, want to remove it I simply remove it only or one of the p tag I need this p tag area want to display our description description if you want to display as I told you here we have to use that as a exclamator rather than it should be display all that our description code right if you go to our database if you go to that our browse you can see it's not display on the p tag on some of the tags so now if you use it then that will be not display i want to display our portfolio description so if you want to display it, the process will be same i copy it and then here i paste it so now our field name our field name will be as a portfolio description i copy it and then here i want to, want to paste it that will be the portfolio description that's all okay friend that's all you have to do now let's check this out click as a save all and now if you go our page now I want to refresh it and now if you go like that is a lot of uh, react one one right if you go to our react one one if you click as edit now in our this description you can see that is a one one so now I want to do want to go there click as a go page there is a portfolio details dot html uh, if you go to our portfolio into this portfolio I have already uploaded on the route I have uploaded the route in our title right I also want to do want to update that route I copied I want to update the route in your case study here I want to do want to update okay so that will be our route now click the save all before I actually added in our title area now I want to do I want to refresh it again and now if you go if you put you can see before I have actually used it in here you can see it's a display as a portfolio details as a 4 ID and that is also display as a 4 ID if you go there that is display as a 3 ID that is display as a 2 ID perfect perfect so now I want to do want to add it in a lot of, lot of react 1 1 now go to that case study yes you can see it's now successfully redacted to our portfolio details as a 4 undefined constant as a portfolio where exactly I have done wrong like in our portfolio description area maybe they have some of the issues if you go to our portfolio details then portfolio description you can see I didn't use the dollar sign that obviously one of the dollar sign and then the portfolio because that is our variable right I have already passed it with the compact in our post portfolio details now that should be this okay perfect now let's check this out we have save all now go again I refresh it yeah you can see it's now successfully now loaded perfect so our <laughs> details images is visible name is visible update you can see our <laughs> description is also successfully visible right a specific this I did all the data is visible and if you go to again our home page into the home if you go to a home page and it from to the home again I want to do and to get another one so that is our another one I want to go there so that is a lot of new project that is on the images and the name if you go there now ID as a three now that should be also loaded yes you can see image is now successfully updated a lot of new project is name is updated the title and description is updated perfect perfect and also they have some of the images the static image I want to update 
like that is all that is static image if you want to update then that will be the same process we have to do that that will be as a um, first of all asset and into this asset i want to do and to display our which thing that will be the font in theme right that is a font in and then our asset so now i want to do and to take it i copy it and also i want to update at a time okay i want to update at a time now click the paste now i want to update it so now that will be the cut it and i paste it so that is some of the static image if you want to make it as a dynamic i hope you already know you can use that one of the multi images uh, with this you can actually update that images okay so now i simply cut it and paste it and i simply cut it and then i paste it now if you click the save all now that should be updated now click the refresh yeah you can see there are some of these small images is not important you can also create it rather than it's totally fine there is a post um, there is our case details into the case details i want to do and to make it our title name in here if you want to display the title name that will be the same process i better i copy it and then here there is details area i want to do and to make it as a dynamic okay I simply paste it so that will be our name or database field name as a portfolio name okay i want to do and to display the portfolio name here and also under do and to update our case details here yeah, on to display our portfolio name now click as a save all now that should be very interactive now click as a refresh yeah you can see it's display laravel and then the laravel and if you go to again on our home and now from here if you again update that new one uh, like right now and to access that business strategy and our name as a strategy right now if you go to that case details jd2 yes you can see it's totally dynamic it's totally dynamic i hope friend you get that idea how to uh, make it uh, dynamic is very easy now our specific details page all the details data is also successfully loaded great so here we successfully done this job in our next video i want to do i want to discuss about our block portion okay so that is actually our block portion so for the blog you can display the time in title they have some of the category so i will also discuss about how can create some of the category and how can create some of the relationship between both of this table so into the blog area i will discuss about that things with you with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video